hello friends uh, welcome back to our channel again so today we are going to have a look at an option tra trading strategy iv rank and iv percentile okay so if you're in uh, new uh, if you're watching this video for the first time then please do watch the previous videos as well because this is a series of an option traders uh, option trading strategies so earlier we have uploaded uh, the videos about an option greeks um, about uh, delta gamma and um, theta and vega okay so now we have landed in an iv okay so um, we'll have a look into that so this is our uh, telegram id and and also we'll be posting our uh, uh, sorry twitter id and we will be posting our telegram id as well in the descriptions so please do watch that and also we'll be uh, showing our uh, playlist uh, which contains all these videos in our in the end of this uh, video so also click on that playlist and watch all those uh, videos which we have posted for multiple positional trades and uh, multiple technical analysis we have done and how we have uh, defined multiple option strategies okay so that is a disclaimer friends so this is only for an educational content and please do your own analysis before taking any uh, decision based on this okay so implied volatility so implied volatility is a forecast on particular stock about its movement for the particular period of time okay so iv will tell us that what is the range this particular stock will move in a um, particular time periods okay so if for example if iv is having a uh, two percent two as an uh, two percent as an iv for the particular stock then the range for the one day movement for that particular stock is two percent it can either go uh, upside two percent or on the downside two percent okay so this is an uh, main agenda of main thing about the implied volatility and implied volatility is often used by an option traders as it will affect the option prices so based on that iv the option premiums will um, uh, react to that uh, iv changes okay so higher iv will make option premiums higher and lower iv will make the option premiums lower so iv tends to increase in bearish market and will decrease in bullish markets okay so um, iv will help us to determine choosing the right option strategies as iv uh, will decide uh, means like based on that iv the option premiums will either increase or decrease so uh, based on that uh, current iv we can choose an option strategies to trade for the particular time period okay so how to use iv in option trading so if iv is higher then it's better to sell options as premiums are in higher value and if iv is lesser uh, then it's better to buy options as premiums are available at the lesser cost okay so but each stock will have a different iv and it's difficult to say which is higher or lower iv by seeing its iv number okay so let's say some uh, some stock will have 50 as an higher value higher iv and some stocks will have 50 as an lower iv so it's uh, it will be difficult for us to come to a conclusion by simply looking at an iv to say that whether it's an higher or lower iv okay so each stock will have a different iv ranges okay so to overcome that we have an uh, something called an iv rank so based on that iv rank we can come to a conclusion whether the current iv is higher or lower okay so iv rank will tell us that whether iv is higher or lower in a particular stock based on its historical iv of past one year so this iv rank will take a calculation uh, take a um, historical value of past one year and it will give us the iv rank so based on that we can come to a conclusion that whether the current iv is higher or lower okay so for example if let's assume that the stock abc had an iv range between 30 and 60 for the past one year and it's currently having an iv of 45 then its iv rank will be 50 percent as uh, it's it's having the 50% uh, value which is at the 45 okay between the range between 30 and 60 uh, 45 is the 50 percent value so um, if it is having the current iv as 45 then it will be 50 percent and if its iv is at the level of 57 then its iv rank will be 90 percent so which is considered as an higher uh, iv if it's trading at the at the iv of 57 okay so as in mentioned earlier each stock will have a different iv ranges so coming to a conclusion only by looking an iv won't work and in that case iv rank will comes into one picture so based on this iv rank you can come to one conclusion whether the current iv is higher or lower okay so the next one we are going to have a look is iv percentile so iv percentile will tell us the percentage of the days iv trade 
days IV traded below the current level of level for past one year. Okay, so let's say current IV is uh, at sixty, and uh, it will uh, do a calculation and it'll, it will give us the percentage that. So whether this current level is uh, traded in the past one year, whether how many percentage of the time it's traded at the current level of the uh, for the past one year. Okay, so if, if IVP is ninety percent, then the stock have been traded below current level for past one year okay so this tells us the current iv is high, uh, higher than the past iv okay so current iv is at 90 percent so the past iv have been traded below this current level for the past one year so which is mean that if the IV, ivp is at the higher level then it will tells us that the current iv is higher and if the ivp is at 10 percent then the stock have been traded above current level uh, current IV level for past one year, which means the current IV is at the lower than the past IV. Okay, so we have uh, two things to calculate the IV, uh, which is one is IV rank and IV percentile, right? So which one we have to look into it? So both IV rank and IV percentile are uh, calculated with the past IV data. Okay, so you should check either IV percentile or IV rank while looking for buying or selling an option. So don't complicate IV by looking both the IV rank and IV percentile and always check either IV rank or IV percentile. Okay, So uh, it's uh, better to use an IV percentile rather than IV rank as it will give more accuracy if there is a sudden rise in IV. So if there is a sudden rise happened uh, uh, in IV due to some news, then uh, IV percentile will give us the most accurate value uh, to uh, come to a conclusion that whether the current IV is higher or lower okay so uh, we have we don't want to calculate it manually by uh, taking the past historical values so there are few apps available at free of cost so, so one is called quants app you can check for an IV percentile and IV rank and also you can uh, check for the IV percentile value at in the website called uh, Opstra Definage right so which I have used in the most of our uh, option strategies building uh, videos right so that is the website where you can find uh, find the iv percentile value and if you want to look at both iv rank and iv percentile then you can install the app called quants app and there you can come to know that uh, for each stock um, about its current iv rank and iv percentile and if you want to uh, look into only the iv percentile then opstra definage website web application is enough in the option strategy builder page you can come to know that what is the current iv percentile for that particular stock okay so if there is some news which is going to come in future so for example if the company is going to define and uh, declare a result then the iv used to tends to move higher and in that case you can check for that iv percentile and if it is higher in if it is in the higher range then you can uh, choose the strategy uh, and you can start selling stocks okay so if uh, once the uh, stock declare its news the iv tends to uh, move down so uh, once the iv uh, comes low uh, comes to the lower lower level then the option premiums will uh, reduce automatically based on this iv levels okay so this is then um, usage of this iv percentiles or iv rank so based on that you can uh, choose which stock to sell even if sometimes you can see that even if uh, the company is going to uh, declare a result if you are if you have a look at that iv percentile and if it is not having a higher value then you should avoid that as uh, we can't uh, gain from the iv uh, iv uh, moving lower points okay so thanks for watching friends so please do subscribe to our channel and also watch all, all our videos and also click on the bell icon uh, once you subscribe so that you'll be getting the notification as well and also uh, click on the like share and uh, comment our uh, videos if you have any queries as well so thanks for watching